So in this module, we are going to discuss fourth question that is check whether the 756 is divisible by 42 or not and verify whether 756 is divisible by all or all the factors of 42. So let's take 756. So 756 divided by 42. So we don't have direct formula that is direct divisibility rule of 42. So 42 can be written in the format of 6 into 7. So 6 into 7. So we should check with 6 and 7. So, so 6 can be written in the format of 2 into 3. So finally we have to check how many conditions. So with 6 that is 2 and 3 and 7. So if these three numbers divisibility rules are checked then you can check with 42. So, so in order to 756 is divisible by divisible by 2 and 3 and 7 then it is divisible by 42 so that is the case here so let's take 756 what is the unit digit 6 then it is divisible by divisible by 2 then our next divisibility rule 7 plus 5 plus 6 what you will get so 5 plus 6 will be 11 11 plus 7 will be 18 then 18 by 3 you have to do so 3 3 ones are 3 6 are. then what you can say here is 756 is divisible by divisible by 3 then again what is the next condition is 756 so what is the checking with this is 2 this is 3 divisibility rule this is 7 divisibility rule so what you have to take here is you have to write in the format of from left side a b c so one condition is that 2a plus 3b plus c so what is 2a 2 into 7 plus 3 into 5 plus 6 so what is that 14 plus 15 plus 6 14 plus 6 will be 20 20 plus 15 will be 35 then 35 is divisible by 7 or not a 7 ones are 7 fives are then so what you are getting 5 then 756 is divisible by divisible by 7 therefore what you can say here is 756 is divisible by 42 why because it is divisible by both 2 3 and 7 all of them it is divisible so for that it is divisible by 42 so 756 and verify the factors of 42 so we have to verify that 42 can be written in the format of 1 into 42 then 2 into 21 then 3 into 3 ones are then 3 fourths are then 4 4 it cannot be then 5 no 6 6 sevens are so 6 sevens are 42 then 7 yes already there 8 it's not not be then 9 like that it cannot be so what are the factors here 1 2 come in a u shape 3 6 7 so 7 then 14 21 then 42 so we are checked with divisibility rule of 2 and 3 then we are checked with 6 also 7 also so these are all multiples of next so 756 what is that 756 is divisible by is divisible by 42 and also divisible by 42 factors Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So here in this module, we are going to check whether 2156, 2156 is divisible by 11 and 2156 is divisible by 7. And verify whether the 2156 is divisible by product of 11 and 7. So actually product of 7 means this is the case. So 11 into 7 will become actually 77 then it will be divisible by 
11 and 7 means it is also divisible by product of these numbers. So first check 2 and 7 with divisibility rule of 11. So 2, 1, 5, 6. So what is the divisible by 11? So first condition 11 divisibility rule. So sum of the or even places odd places 1, 2, 3, 4. So odd places is what? 6 plus 1 minus even places is what? 5 plus 2. So what you are getting 7 minus 7 we will get 0. Yes. 2, 1, 5, 6 is divisible by 11. The next one check with 7. So check with 7. So how to check with 7 is so here 2, 1, 5, 6. So let's take 2 groups divide is from left side 3 and 1. So let's take 2, 1, 5. So 2, 1, 5. Then take here 6. 6 is a unit digit that multiply with 2. Then 12 we will get. Subtract 12 from this. So 3. So 2, 1, 5. Then 2, not 3. So 2, not 3. So let's take 2, not 3 again. So what is the unit digit here? 3. What is the remaining one? 20. So 20. 3 we have to do with multiplies 2. 6. Then 6 is subtracted from this. Then what you will get here? So 20 minus 6. 14 we will get. So 14 is divisible by 7 or not. Yes, 7 ones are 7 twos are. So 2 we will get. That means 2, 1, 5, 6 is divisible by, divisible by 7. So divisible by 7. So what we are observed here, it is divisible by both. So both 7 and 2, 1, 5, 6. Therefore, 2, 1, 5, 6 is divisible by both 11 and 7. Then we have to check with 2, 1, 5, 6 is divisible by 11 into 7. That is this case. So 77. So actually it is divisible by, by 77. Why? Because 77 can be written in the format of 11 into 7. Any number is divisible by uh, product of then it's also product will be also divisible by 7 so factors so 11 and 7 are factors thanks for watching please subscribe so our next question is check whether the 1435 that is 1435 is divisible by 5 and 1435 is also divisible by 7 then again there are 1435 is divisible by product of 5 and 7. So first we are going to check with 5. So 1435, the, what is the unit digit here? 5 is there, then it is, it is divisible by 5. Then we are going to check for the 7. Our next one is 1435. So left side you have to take 3 numbers and right side 1, only 1. So let's take 143 and subtracted from 5 into 2 you have to do that is 10 that is 10 10 subtracted from left 3 groups that is 3 4 minus 133 then 133 again you have to take so 133 so left side what is that 3 13 is there right side is the 13 then 3 into 2 you have to do right side 1 place into 2 3 to the 6 then 6 will come so 13 minus 6 what you will get 13 minus 6 will be 7. Then 7 by 7. So 7 ones are 7 ones are. So 1 you will get. Finally 2 digit or 1 digit like that means we have to go. A minimum 2 steps you have to do for the 2 4 digit number. Then 1 4 3 5 is divisible by 7. Then we have to check again what is the next one what you have to check. Their product 1435 is checked with 5 sevens are 35. So 35 means you can do 35 into 5 into 7. So any number, so here divisible by factors, any number divisible by, any number divisible by uh, 13 and 30, 35 that is 1435 here. 35 then that number that number is divisible by its factors its factors so here 
vice versa you can take anything here so 35 also it is divisible by 35 so product is 35 for that also it is divisible why because 5 and 7 the factors are divisible so that is the divisibility rule of that so 1435 what you'll get 1435 by 35 what you'll get 41 so 1435 we will get 1's are 41 so 41 so any number is divisible by 35 then it is also divisible by 5 and 7 thanks for watching please subscribe so here our seventh one is check whether 460, 456 and 618 are divisible by 6. So 456 and 618 are divisible by 6 or not we have to check. And also check whether 6 divides the sum of these two numbers. So in order to check 456, 6 can be written in the format of 2 into 3. We have to check with 2 and 3 for the both numbers. So first check 456. So 4, 5, 6, here unit digit is what? 6. So for that it is divisible by, it is divisible by 2. Then again go with 4 plus 5 plus 6, then what you will get? 15. Then 15 by 3 we have to do. 3 ones are, 3 fives are. So it's, it is 4, 56. It is divisible by, it is divisible by 3. Then what you can say, 456 is also divisible by 6. Yes, we are checked for first one. So we are checking for simply we are checking 2 and 3 and for that divisibility rules. Then 618. So let's take 618. So what is the unit digit here? 8. Yes, it is divisible by. If it is an even number, then it is also it is divisible by. It is divisible by what? 2. Then 6 plus 1 plus 8. Then what you can say here 6 plus 1 plus 8. 7, 7 plus 8 will be 15. So 15. Then 15 by 3 you do. 3 ones are 3 fives are. So 3 fives are. So that is 6, 1, 8 is divisible by is divisible by 3. Then what you can say finally as therefore 618 is also divisible by 6. Our next one what you have to check is the sum is divisible by 6 or not we have to check. So what is that 456 plus 618. So 456 plus 618. 6 plus 8 will be 14. Then here for 7. Then 1074. So 1074. Fourth, that one will be divisible by 6 or not we have to check as usual first check with the divisibility rule of 2 that is 1074 so unit digit is 4 then it is 2 then again go with 1 plus 0 plus 7 plus 4 so 1 plus 8 then it will come 12 then 12 by 3 3 ones are 3 fours are yes 1074 is divisible by 3. Then therefore what you can say here is 1074 is also divisible by 6. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.